Hello everybody, and today we go to orbit using only solid rocket fuel. Three, two, one, launch. Wow, this is shaky, so let's turn on auto strut. Sometimes auto strut just makes your craft explode. So if you don't want your craft exploding, try not to use auto strut, but I don't care. Because this thing's rather simple. Hello, Kerbals. You can do interior overlay. And then you can spy on the Kerbals. Hello. Anyway, we can see our apophysis. However you say it, apophysis. I don't know. It's at 5 kilometers. You need that to get to like more than 5 kilometers. I hope this works. Ah! Oh. See, the booster has windows now. That's what the interior overlay does. Nothing can stop you from spying on the Kerbals. Oh, there's no Kerbals in there. Oh well, who needs, who needs more Kerbals than this? We're spinning quite a bit. What should I do about that? Let's do something very fancy and do nothing about it. Okay, wait, what direction am I spinning in? Attempts to counter it. Ugh. Stop spinning, please. Hopefully we can decouple these because these things don't have any gimbal. I think we're spinning faster now. Point, point where I want you to. Point at 90 degrees. Okay, that, that seems to be high enough. Bit more, bit more there. We're in space. Don't break my rocket. As you can see. Oh, this is terrible. I use these, the blue things, just because I couldn't be bothered to drag and move the maneuver node because sometimes that doesn't work. And this is when I realize something. You know what, never mind. It's when I realize that this is going to give us way too much delta V. So we're going to have to like decouple from it and then like swing randomly. It's Kerbal for ya. But as long as we do get to orbit, I can claim, I can claim I've gotten to orbit using only solid fuel. On. So you can see, bottom left, all of the data. Data, data. Not sure. Not sure what people are calling it now. Let's just go with data. And once that gets to be around 70, then we can try spinning this thing out of control. And then we can go on an EVA and turn off the engines, because it doesn't count as that you're in orbit, unless if you're in a stable orbit where you have no engines running. Anyway, we don't want to spin out of control yet. We're halfway there. This is a clicky mouse, don't you think? So clicky. Kerbal view. Whoa, amazing. Ooh, look at the new atmosphere in the new update of Kerbal. There's now an atmosphere. I saw a comet in a mission. And it's on YouTube. That mission is also on YouTube. But it hasn't been released yet. It gets scheduled for release in the future. Okay, it's been out of control time. This is way more lame than I hoped it would be. You know what? Quick save. Backup plan. I don't recommend this is how you do this. No, we're not in orbit. No. Point. Prograde. Okay, this doesn't count. Load the quick save. I've never done this before. I've seen, oh, look, I loaded the quick save and everything is perfect. 
Really? Don't worry, we can. I've got a plan. I've got an evil plan. I'm not sure why I loaded the quick save. The booster was gone. And uh, that's Kerbal for you. I'm definitely not doing what you all think I'm doing. Definitely. Definitely not going to fire the return engines. We're gonna go a bit more than I planned, aren't we? It's been out of control again. Oh, okay. This is when you're all asking, how do I get back? And this is one you should all learn from this. The Kerbals have EVA suits, which are basically jetpacks. You can warp to your highest point. You can point retrograde. So if you were firing an engine, we're not going to be evil with infinite fuel because solid fuel would be stuck on forever. Yes, some people already know what this is, others might not. It, it's where you literally get out of the rocket and you push the rocket. And if you look, it's getting lower. This is how you're forced to do it. Keep watch on your EVA propellant. If it goes below two, go back to the rocket. Yes, this will take a while. So, Kerbal. I've never actually done this. I've done it once, but I didn't have to. Danger. Explosive bolts. Now we have to check EVA propellant. And then I'm going to pause video here and then I'll resume video. Like, I'll turn off camera and then turn back on camera because this takes like an hour. There, we have done what we were supposed to do. Now we're going suborbital. Okay. Oh. That's weird. The clock's all messed up. Actually, no, that's probably the amount of time I've been having the Kerbals outside of the rocket. Yeah, it took me like an hour. Another stupid thing I did, there's no heat shields, but heat shields are for smart people. People that really want their Kerbals to survive. Here, if the Kerbals survive, it's optional. I just realized that this is probably going to explode, isn't it? Because, like, these lander cans, the description says don't even expect it to be able to survive you sneezing on it. So, yeah, this is going to break on us, isn't it? Ah, please don't. This is when we have to do a spin, where you basically spin really fast and hope your rocket doesn't explode. And you do this so that sometimes different parts of the rocket will get all the heat. Look, look, there's the Kerbal Space Center. Huh. This was not planned, by the way. I did not plan to land so close. Can you even see the rocket? I can, but can you? There, now you all can. There, parachutes. Look at these happy Kerbals, very much happy, because they should be dead, but they're not, because they were smart to go outside of the rocket and push it using EVA propellant. And now, landing. Please subscribe, please like. Yeah, that's about it. Please. Subscribe, and then that will be one more Kerbal that gets to live longer. Because the Kerbals will have a better chance of survival. Because right now, my Kerbal success rate, when they actually survive, is probably 20% of the time they die. 80% they survive, so 
more than 50%, so that's actually pretty good. Anyway, Kerbal View. Ooh, gravity isn't working properly. All I can see is parachutes. Left the emergency. Not sure, PSA, all the snacks. Ugh. Oh, I wish they could write neater. Stop using slits of metal as fuses. You have spares. Fuse box. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It is finished. Yes.